Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use CSS to center the text in the footer of your website, specifically on mobile devices. Now, as always, the codes I'm using today are listed in the description below, but let's hop into my demo site so I can show you exactly how they work in case you wanna change part of it for your own website. So here we are in my 7.1 demo site. I'm gonna to navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS. Now, the first part of this code is going to tell the browser only apply this code on a mobile device. So I'm going to say at media only screen and open up a parenthesis, max width 640px. Now 640 is the pixel width that I use for mobile, but you can change that if you want it to be larger or smaller. Oops, and I spelled width wrong, there we go. All right, so we're gonna open up a curly bracket after that, and we're gonna say hashtag footer dash sections. This means the code we're about to apply will be applied to all of the sections in the footer. In 7.1, you get a multiple different sections, so this is kind of a catch-all to take care of all of that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is add an asterisk. That is shorthand in CSS, which basically tells the browser, apply this to any type of text you see. So you'll see here I have a headline and description for my newsletter block. I've got some links, some heading text, paragraph text. This asterisk is shorthand for apply this code to all of the text. So now I'll, op I'll open up another curly bracket and I'll say text align center. Now you'll notice absolutely nothing happened on our desktop site here. Let's hop into mobile and take a look. There we go. Everything is now centered in mobile, even the text in the form field that says email address. All of this is now centered because of this little asterisk. Now, if you're using a Brian theme template, a variation of this code will totally work for you. I'm just gonna copy this right out of our custom CSS and hop into my Brian demo site. Now here, we have again, multiple links and a bunch of different text types. We'll navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS. I'll paste the exact same code and let's take a look at that mobile preview. You'll notice absolutely nothing happened. It's all aligned to the left. That's because in Brine, instead of footer sections, it goes by period capital F footer. And now all of the text inside my footer is centered on my Brine website. And that's it for this super quick tutorial. Both variations of the code are listed in the description below, so you can copy and paste those into your own website, changing that 640px to the width of the screen size that you want to apply this code on. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.